Banners are totally on trend right now. You see them everywhere from wedding decorations, window displays, and of course for parties and celebrations. I'm the Crafty Blog Stalker and today I'm going to show you how you can create a chalkboard banner so that you always have a banner on hand for all of those occasions. Now I really don't need a lot of supplies for my chalkboard banner. I've got some chalkboard paper right here, and yes, this is actual chalkboard paper. It's not just black cardstock. I've got my banner punch board that I'm going to use to create my pennant pieces. I've got chalk, and then I've got some ribbon to tie it all together with. The only other tool I'll need is a paper trimmer to cut my chalkboard pieces uh, down to size. The very first thing I'm going to do is to prime my chalkboard piece. And to do that, you take a piece of chalk and you just run it all over the piece. This preps the surface so you can then write on it and erase it and write on it and erase it. So you want to make sure you do that first. And then I'm just using a simple rag just to wipe that all off. Now that my piece is prepped, I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut these into four inch widths. The length is already 12 inches, so I know I can get three four inch rectangles out of it. Oops, it didn't cut all the way through. This paper is a little bit thicker than standard cardstock, but it still works in the paper trimmer just fine. So there are my pieces. Then I'm going to bring in my banner punch board by We Are Memory Keepers to give my flag some shape. Now I already have a tutorial video on how to use this punch board that I will reference that you can watch. Uh, but real quickly, it's a four inch width, width so I'm going to measure it up with the four inch lines on the base. Then here is my cutting tool. So I'm going to put that in the track. And cut my banner. And then up here is a hole punch. So I can put those holes in my banner to string them all together. So I'm just going to punch and then turn over and punch again and there you can see I have my holes. So here are my banner pieces and now I'm going to take a piece of chalk. It works best if the chalk is sharpened a little bit um, and just write out my word. So here is my banner. I've already begun stringing my pieces along. I just have those last few to string on. And a little tip is to cut your string or your ribbon at a little bit of an angle. Uh, that helps kind of guide it through the hole. And makes it go on much easier. Then when you're all done, you can just trim off that edge piece so you have a nice end. And here I'll try and pull this whole banner through so you can see. Celebrate. Now the awesome thing about a chalkboard banner is that you can really use this for any, re any reason, any occasion. Uh, you simply erase whatever you wrote on it and just write a new greeting or word or birthday, uh, whatever occasion you are celebrating. I am so excited to have this chalkboard banner. It is going to come in handy on so many occasions. Because now for my kids' birthdays, instead of it saying celebrate, I can write their name. Or even when they accomplish something big, I can celebrate them by hanging their banner and not have to make a new banner each time. 
Thanks for joining me today, everybody. While you're here, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I release a new tutorial about once a week. Also, please make sure to visit my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks, everybody. Bye.